Google continues working to push its Discover feature in Chrome's new tab page for years now. And each time I make a video showing you how to disable it, the company changes the app up and negates the previous method. Right now, when you look at a new tab page of Chrome on Android and iOS, you get a row of your most visited websites at the top. And under it, the company uses the empty space for its news aggregation ventures. They make money on the ad sales from the service and many times on the ads from the websites themselves, while also filling up that bottom half of the new tab page. Thankfully, they've added a settings cog icon right here that allows us to turn the feature off but doing so doesn't actually remove that user interface element. It just grays it out while hiding the content that was being displayed under it. However, Google is working on yet another way to remove the Discover and the following feeds from Chrome on Android and iOS using a new hidden option. Showing up now in version 104 of Chrome, which you can use by installing the Canary build of Chrome right now, but I'm reading it will be pushed to the front of the line and appear in version 103 of Chrome next month. And that it is a new hidden Chrome flag option called Feed Ablation. So to find this new hidden feature, we're gonna visit the Chrome Flags experimental page, which you can find by typing in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags in the address bar and tapping go. And then we're gonna search and filter everything that does not have the word feed in it. And you can see that option that I mentioned right here, right toward the top. It's going to be set to default automatically, but we can force this feature on by setting it to enabled. So to give you an idea, remember the discover and following section right here. Now, when we force enable this feature and relaunch the browser, you can then see that the new tab page is gonna have a clean section to the bottom. Everything else in Chrome is going to work the same, whether you're visiting websites you're already viewing, checking out new websites. The only difference is going to that new tab page, you're gonna have a clean and empty second half of the screen.